Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. The bill that we are marking up today, the Retail Investor Protection Act, is an updated version of the discussion draft that was included in the May 23rd capital markets hearing. This legislation is intended to address one of the biggest threats facing retail investors today. Currently, two federal agencies, the SEC and the Department of Labor, are headed towards two separate and massive rulemakings that could fundamentally change the way in which American families and individuals save money for retirement, their kids' college education, or to buy a new home. Both of these agencies have indicated they will use discretionary authority to expand so-called fiduciary responsibilities to a growing number of financial professionals. While such an undertaking has been sold as a pro-investor initiative, it appears that neither the SEC or the DOL have considered the serious adverse consequences that would befall retail investors if these rules move forward. For example, the SEC has proposed rewriting decades worth of securities law simply due to their finding of investor confusion over differences in standards of care. Common sense would dictate that the solution to this issue would be to simply uh, it would be to simplify disclosures so that they are easier for investors to understand. But this is Washington. So the SEC has instead proposed the adoption of an entirely new regulatory regime for brokers, even though it is at best unclear whether investors would actually benefit from it. And as the SEC itself said about their recommendation in the Section 913 study, costs could, and I quote, ultimately be passed on to retail investors in the form of higher fees or lost access to services and products. And any increase in cost to retail investors detracts from the profitability of their investments. Meanwhile, the Department of Labor has indicated that they are moving forward on a reproposal of a rule that has received broad bipartisan criticism from members of Congress. Just last week, 32 Democratic members of Congress wrote to the Department of Labor expressing their concern that the DOL's reproposal could severely impact the ability of low and moderate income households to receive financial products and services. I share the exact same concerns as these 32 Democratic members, and I believe that Congress has an obligation here to ensure that actions by federal regulators do not end up harming the very investors that they are meant to protect. The Retail Investor Protection Act would require that the SEC first identify whether investors are being systematically harmed or disadvantaged before engaging in a Section 913 rulemaking. Second, this legislation would require that the Department of Labor wait, wait for the SEC to complete a rulemaking before moving ahead. Since the DOL rule could end up having serious effects on IRAs, it only makes sense that the SEC, which has primary jurisdiction and expertise over IRA providers, adopt a rule first if they find it necessary. I think it's important to remember what's at stake here. American families invest trillions of dollars in IRAs and through mutual funds, stocks, bonds, and other types of investments. Federal regulators must not lose focus on the impact all of these rules could have on retail investors, and the Retail Investor Protection Act will ensure that they tread carefully. I urge passage of this bill, and I yield back my time, Mr. Chairman.